Good morning, Chip, Julie, JW, Maureen, Stu, Mike, Ron, Joe, Steph, Mike. Thanks to everybody for being here. Appreciate it. Happy Tuesday to everybody. It is Tuesday, right? Yeah. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Geesh. Okay. Man, this year, oh boy. You know, we're getting to the point where if you haven't done it, it's getting kind of too late. We're also at the point, <clears throat> excuse me, of the year where maybe it's a good idea to start planning for next year. Um, take some time off. Uh, take some time off from hardcore trading, I guess. Uh, what I mean by high core trading is literally buying and selling. And study charts, uh, study your indicators, relax, go through charts. Uh, don't look at the hard right edge. Go, go over here and look and see how, what, what, you know, how, how could that downtrend have been traded? Uh, how could that uptrend have been traded? Um, why did you lose money on this particular trade or make money on that other particular trade? Sometimes it's good to just do that. Uh, but you have to stop looking at the hard right edge and stop trading because if you look at the hard right edge, you're always looking for charts. Don't deny it. You are. Um, and if you're trying to buy something, then you can't honestly focus on this side of stuff. You're, you're always focused on what your position is doing. So anyway, this time of year is a really a good time to, to really make some plans. It, it truly, truly is. Okay. With that said, um, Boy, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I got to tell you, I think we're in an awkward position right now. Very, very awkward. Um, I've been very, very vocal about following the trend, and I'm going to remain vocal about following the trend. So, as long as the trend stays bullish, by God, I'm going to stay bullish. But if that trend starts to turn bearish, by God, I'm going to turn bearish. And um, I, I think this is very, very important. All trends at some point run out of some kind of steam. Now, I'm not saying that we have run out of steam here. What I am saying is that little engine that could, choo, 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 that little engine that could, well, it's, it's, it's running into a problem up here. It's running into a problem up here. And w what has to happen is, is the, the little train that could here, it needs to get through that trend. It not only needs to get through that trend, it needs to test that trend. So we pop up. The way you test is you break out, you make a high, you come back and test, and you break that high. So just because we break out doesn't mean all is okay. So we're going to need to push, come back, and then push up again. So it, 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 we're, just, we're just at this, this, I don't know, like I said, I think, I think we're at an uh, important area. And uh, so... Yesterday, we were talking in the trading room about this doji low and this big candle low right here. They're just within, I don't know, I think it was 18 cents of being a tweezer bottom, which when you're looking at a $400 stock, you can call that a tweezer bottom. Tweezer bottoms are supposed to be perfect, right to the penny. Uh, but as price gets bigger in number, come on, let's cut it some slack. That's pretty close to tweezer bottom. I think that line right there, I wrote, I drew that little red line right here, and I, I wrote game changer line. And I think that's a game changer line. So if the market starts to roll, it will get past my trend indicator, which is my trend indicator is my, my, my trending trading line or trading trending line, how, whatever, however you want to arrange that. I put a line right here on these lows and this low extended it, we get past that blue line or that game changer line, 
The next target downside is going to be the 50 period moving average. We fail that 50 period moving average. Boy, I got to tell you, uh, Santa's going to get cold for Christmas. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a good thing. That'll put us coming down to testing these lows down here. Boy, aren't I a bah humbug here today? I guess I'm a, uh, a uh, uh, Eeyore, not a Tigger this morning. Okay, so that's the downside. Now let's be, let's be a Tigger here. On the upside, as long as we can move up here, we're doing just fine. And so far, I think the chart is doing just fine. We're move, we moved up, we moved back, we moved up, we moved back, we moved up, we moved back, all within the downtrend line that we had nothing to do with. The downtrend line was created back here with those two highs. I could actually move that up a little, I guess, if you want to get them exact. That's where the downtrend line was uh, created. It is, it is uncorrectable at this point. Once that line is put in, the where it goes down here is where it goes. You can't move it. So, if we can get through the tail end of this, then things might be okay. Uh, just watch that trend, all right? So, anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense. All right, let's take a look at some charts. I have this way up here where I can't see it. There it is. Um, SBS. Uh, SBSW, SBSW. This is a gold trade. Um, I like the chart here. Nice little gap. We've rallied up. We've pulled back to a 3H trap. We rallied up again. We broke out of that recent high. We're pulling back to a 3H trap again. You can look at the chart here and see that we've broken out of this uh, double top resistance area. That's a bullish sign. From there, the next target to the upside, just simply move up. And I, man, really, I'm just going to have to go right up here to $13.40. Uh, of course, there might be some pullbacks and some, oh, uh, price action woes in here. Uh, but uh, um, right now, I see that trend or I see that trade looking at about 11 bucks up to 13 that would be a pretty healthy swing for it uh, oh no oh no where did it go there it is here's a a little trade for those that's uh that likes trading stocks on the um we'll say under 10 bucks maybe here's a dollar 16 chart closed yesterday this might be a good stock trade um what the one of the one of the bottoms that I really like is uh, a bottom that looks like this, where you have this kind of a rounded, I, I overdid that, where you, where you have this, this kind of a rounded bottom, and then you just you dip down. There we go. That's pretty good. And you round up here. So what happens, and it, it's certainly not, it's certainly not, you know, exact. But when you can spot this side over here and that length here, when we get to this about the same length, it, it's like I say, it's not exact. But when you get to about the same length, that's where we start moving up a little bit. And that's just about what's happening here. Here we've popped up. We've cleared this. I don't know really why I have that. Oh, I see why. Uh, we cleared this resistance line about 110. Um, we go through 120 up here. The next line I see is about 140. And then really, maybe we should push that down a little bit. And then we can go up. There we go. Um, I mean, this could get to a, a buck 80. Heck, it could go to two bucks. It could go more. But right now, I see this thing setting up, uh, moving up. Uh, into these target areas. We've got a little gap in here, um, a little gap. We've rallied up. Here's your 3 h trap. Could have been bought back down here, maybe closer to the trend indicator or to the 50 period moving average if you look for those. Here we've rallied up again, and now we're pulling back into that 3 h trap area. Um, you, somebody, 
I forget, it wasn't me, it was somebody else who mentioned you the other day. And I still like this. <clears throat> we talked about it. <laughs> Darn cold. Uh, gap up. Some of these are coming from our gap and trap uh, scan that we have uh, in LTA. Gap and trap scan. Um, that's where some of these came from. When you see these gaps in here, that's probably where I pulled it from. Nice little gap. We pop up. Here we pull back right into the 3 h trap. And here we have an ever so slightly gap again that pulled up. Trap. Up again. Trap. It just keeps moving up, putting in those uh, traps. So up, trap, up, trap, up, trap. You can see we've broken out of this high right here. Um, I just like the way that chart looks. We've got some nasty candle yesterday uh, that pulled back on us pretty hard. We've got a tweezer top at the top here, uh, 42.19 and 42.24. That's pretty darn close tweezer top. Uh, so the big the big ticket first target right now would be to get over this 4207 area. From there, I think we could look at something about 4640. We better put something right here around 4960. And shoot, let's just run right to the top, right up here. So there's some targets on that U. Um, AMD. I I've got my eyes so glued on AMD. Uh, I, I don't think it's necessarily ready, Not certainly not this morning, wasn't ready to be bought yesterday. What I like about AMD is so far it's holding the Trendicator trend. That's what I like about it. I like that it came up to the top and it's, it's kind of, it's pinched, trapped between 78.50 right now and the Trendicator. We go below the Trendicator, this whole thing's off the table, at least for now long as we stay there, I'm just watching this. I, I'm waiting for the, for the scanner to give me the thumbs up. And what, what the, all that means is that buyers are coming in. I want to see that buyers are coming in. And that's where the scanner will do that. So scanner, show me some interest here. That's where I'm going to look to trade. The first target's going to be 78.50. We do have to get over that top. Then we'll look at the 83.75 and on up from there. Clorox. Clorox, kind of like what Clorox is doing, only because it's trendy. Boom. And let's put this top right there. That's what it needs to break out of. So that's what I'm watching. Um, take a look at the weekly chart on Clorox. Take a look at that bottom on Clorox. I don't know. You can call it a double bottom, I guess, if you want. I would. You can call it an inverted head and shoulders if you want. I would. You can look at this whole construction down here as something that's uh, positive and powerful, and I would. So what I'm looking at is a breakout for Clorox. We get that breakout on Clorox. Let's just run right up to that high there. There's a lot of stuff on the daily chart that you might have to look at for trading. We'll just divide this little set of candlesticks out there all by its lonesome. Uh, but right here, based on the weekly chart and the daily chart, uh, we get we start to get that breakout. I see Clorox going higher. Um, INFN, we've talked about this in the past. In fact, it has now cleared the first target yesterday up here. Uh, let's see if we can make it on up a little bit higher. Looks like it's pulling back an inside day today, so that might be a buy area maybe. We'll keep our eye on that. Uh, TLT, keep an eye on TLT. Take a look at 110.90 up here. Let's just call it 111. Um, put a downtrend line on this. Down we go. And up we go. We're now through that downtrend line. We just need to, to consolidate, consolidate, regroup the buyers, push buyers in there, and then that's what puts, pushes the chart up a little bit there. So that's what I have for trade alerts. Um, again, I, I just, I want to go back to, I want to go back to this. Um, I, I think this is so, 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 so important. The, we, we have this wedge here, this line, 
and this line. And if you want to use this blue line, that's fine too. Either way, you've got this wedge tightening up. The closer we push into this area right here, the closer we push, that's where a bomb will explode. That, that's where a bomb could explode, I guess. The thing of it is, is you don't really know, is the bomb going to explode to the upside or explode to the downside? Something is going to happen. Something that, that could be a game changer, both up or down. Charts, when you look at charts and you draw wedges on charts, they can't go very far to the right. Once that wedge tightens up, it, 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 they always do something. Um, and, and this is, you, you know, when, you, when you're looking at a chart, just a chart in general, and you have a wedge on a chart, and somebody asked, somebody asked, you know, we trade in here, boom, 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 boom. Somebody asked, well, where's the buy? Well, that's simple. The buy is after the breakout, the breakout or after the breakout or the breakdown. It's, this is trading 101. This is what you pay thousands and thousands of dollars for to go learn other places. It's real simple. You wait for the breakout. The market itself, the indices itself, is no different. But for some reason, we try to make it different. It's no different. When we get tight in here, we want to wait till we see some direction. Anyway, that's my two cents. want to wish everybody a wonderful day of trading. Um, I will... Let me think about this. Yes, I'm not... Well, I'll tell everybody a little bit later, okay? I'll be back uh, at the open. You guys all take care. Thank you very much.